You may have been watching fights in boxing or the UFC and you may have seen someone take multiple hits to the head and still be able to fight back. Sometimes you may see a shot which is directed here. This is where the liver is located and if you are punched here at the right angle and power, it's often enough to end the fight. One of my favourite fighters to watch is Vasil Lomachenko. He's well known for his powerful body and liver shots, which is often enough to end the fight in his favour. The human ribcage is in place to protect a lot of vital organs, including the heart and lungs, but the liver is only partially covered. This makes it prone to impact when fighting, and because the liver is malleable and almost spongy in nature, after a direct blow there are dynamic pressure changes within the liver itself, which causes stretching of the liver. The liver is kind of like a balloon, if you squeeze one side, it expands on the other because the liver is pliable. The liver has lots of nerve fibres which are directly linked to the autonomic nervous system via the vagus nerve. This direct blow to the liver causes nerve signals to fire rapidly. With punches to the head, you can get disorientated depending on the power, but essentially you don't necessarily feel the pain immediately. However, with a liver punch, you can't control the effects mentally because the punch causes your blood vessels to dilate and at the same time, your heart rate drops resulting in a drop of your blood pressure. In normal situations to maintain your blood pressure, if your blood vessels widen or dilate, the heart starts beating faster to maintain sufficient blood supply around the body, but after this liver impact and due to the action of the vagus nerve, your blood vessels widen and your heart rate drops, and this sudden drop in blood pressure can often make the victim collapse, fall down, lose control of their legs or hunch forward. If they lose consciousness, it's also known as vasovagal syncope. Even if you receive a liver punch and you're still conscious, because the liver is only partially covered by the ribcage, you're at risk of crushing blood vessels within the liver and internal bleeding. There's also the risk of rib fractures around the liver and in severe cases, rupture of the liver. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Please leave a like if you can as it really helps the channel to grow and if you would like to request a video topic to be made, just write it in the comments below.